Majority of people who are doing aquaculture hydroponics in an enclosed building have problem with humidity. By controlling the environment, I can recover all that heat energy from the water and put it back into my pond, which cuts down my expenses of maintenance. And also my wood's not rotting and my environment is comfortable, it's nice and warm and cozy in here. Bringing the people behind our food to life. My basic background is refrigeration, uh, service and installation. And then I got into manufacturing heating and cooling equipment for wineries. In the process of doing that, I realized that I could heat and cool fish water. I started out with an in-ground pond and in a greenhouse. We found that the, due to the conditions of too hot in the summertime, too cold in wintertime, we decided to put it indoors in a well-insulated building. So in the process of doing this, I developed a heat recovery system that will take the humidity from the air and the latent heat from that humidity, I can heat my ponds and also control the environment that humidity, which would cause rot and other mechanical problems with rust and other equipment failures. I calculated I cut my heating costs uh, up to 70 or more percentage. And then that pumps warm water over to my vegetables, which the warmer roots causes the, the plants to grow faster and therefore I have a faster cycle time. The fish grow faster because I'm more at optimum temperatures. I'm not using all of the fossil fuels of natural gas and oils and electricity which are normally used uh, to uh, heat the water and the environment. All this is heated from the humidity in the air. To start with, uh, the humid air will come in through this coil and then the coil is refrigerated, which is cooler. It causes the air to condensate, just like the air conditioning system on your house. The water from the condensation runs down this pipe and is recovered. Then the heat from that goes to my compressor and is compressed. And then I have a switching valve that switches the, where the heat will go. The compressed air, Freon, will be as hot as 160 degrees. So I can put the heat in through these tubes which go into the water. This particular one here has stainless steel tubes in the water that transmits the heat into the water. Or if the water is satisfied, then it puts another coil here will put the heat into the air and then the Freon is cooled and then it's recycled back in, in a continuous uh, con uh, dehumidification. So I can have the thermostat turn on one tank or two tanks or a humostat that will uh, dehumidify. My building right now is uh, 30 by 48 with 14 foot eaves. It's well insulated. It's got R21 in the walls plus on the outside it has a reflective insulation to maintain a high humidity and water tightness. So the, the key to making this work properly is a well insulated building. I have uh, two ponds and a thousand fish in the babies in the one pond which is 800 gallons they will be have to be thin. The other tank is a, roughly 1600 and there's about a thousand fish in there. So you figure that in a four foot by four foot area, I can raise 30 heads of lettuce. So, and every head of lettuce is about a, a 35 day uh, cycle time or 40, someplace in that area. So, as a, somebody who wants to be self sustaining, they can have their fish, could be any type of fish, catfish, koi, crappie, bass, whatever, warm water fish, and still have the nutrient to feed the plant multi-types of plants, herbs, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, wasabi. They can raise multi-food for the same price as one. This is something that can be done global. You know, there's, there's not a piece here other than the heat recovery system, the water recovery system, that isn't off the shelf. So the only thing that we would, be, we would have to manufacture would be the heat recovery system. So you can go into Africa, any place that there's water shortages after the initial filling of the tanks, the amount of water needed is very, very minimal. 
so most of the water would be covered from the humidity. If it's indoors or outdoors, usually even outdoors, uh, you would be able to recover the humidity and store that heat energy uh, and, and, and the water back into that tank again. So any place that there's suburbia, any place that there would be uh, the people willing to raise fish and hydroponics, it can be done. There is no limit to where it can be done. We can do this in Anchorage, Alaska, uh, and anywhere else in the world. Poke a few holes in here so that they can breathe. 